Brought you several stories about the damage during last week's storms. You may remember those, but for some homeowners, they're getting deja vu after being hit by not one, but two back to back weather events. WFO 48's Matthew Kane joins us live along Chambers Drive in Huntsville. Matthew, last Wednesday night storms brought trees down for the second time in two weeks there. I talked to some neighbors today and they were really talking about the phrase lightning doesn't strike twice, but unfortunately right now they're feeling that it in fact does. We're real capable gals, but this was a bit more than we could uh, than we could handle on our own. Caroline Wedham is still working to clean the damage to her home from last week. Compared to some, we're we're real lucky. It's car damage, a little house damage damage to miscellaneous things, but all very fixable and everyone is safe. Her main problem, it's the second time a tree fell in just the last two weeks. I think uh, maybe if you've ever been struck by lightning, you're more likely to get struck again, and that's kind of the boat we're in, I guess. Lightning hit us twice. Her and Katie Burris work under the name Modern Handy Gals as contractors. Burris showed me how one tree fell down and smashed their car two weeks ago. They replaced it last week and purchased another yeah. vehicle. We have to have a truck to work and a trailer. Um, and had it for two days, drove it twice. <laughs> they were destroyed by trees. Since then, they've been unable to work. Just a real strain on us emotionally because it was just too much at once. But not all hope is lost. Burris says her friends have showed up and showed out. They raised money for the crew to keep going as they continue to pick everything up. From the moment they found out, We've had a constant stream of people through bringing us food and um, they asked us what they could do to help financially. There's always a positive to find there. Well, how is this positive here? They cut so much wood down. They told me they're actually giving out firewood to anybody who would want to use it. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matthew King, 48 on your side.